Alrighty, day three. Let's see what his working level will be on the inside. He felt the seven for sure. Perfect. I'm going to try the six again. I think he is feeling the six actually because the seven, his whole shoulder twitched pretty violently, much more than I would expect, especially if he didn't feel the, um, the six before. So, all right, we are going to start with some downs. All right, down. Good boy. Beautiful. That was a great one. And I also kind of want to get him used to me doing the command, not necessarily from the front. So you saw he was like wrapping around my leg and I was like, you know what? It's okay. I can just <laughs> use my foot from the side. Good boy. Good job. We've got a cat distraction, but it doesn't matter for good old Koa. Sammy. Good. He didn't get up. Good boy. <laughs> Takes a while for him to chew. Break. Yes. Good boy. Break. Sit. Yes. Good boy. <laughs> Still chewing. Good. I don't want him to shift. Nope. Good. Nope. Good. So anytime he's shifting, I'm going to stop him from moving. Good. Staying facing away from me. We'll reward that. Break. Good job. Okay. Down. Yes. Good boy. I'm going to keep using foot pressure for now because before I think I took it away too early and he was just standing there watching me when I sit down. So he's definitely relating the command to my foot. So gradually, the more repetitions we do, I'll gradually take it away. I'll test him out once in a while, right? So Sammy is actually right there. Good. Oh, sorry, it's right here. Good job. I'm gonna try to do some erratic movements, faster movements to see if it's gonna encourage him to get up. Good, he's staying, perfect. I'm gonna try stepping over him, actually. Nope, good, yes. That was a challenge for him, let's try that again. Good job, Koa. Good. Walk around a little more because he's stopping and sitting very easily. Sit. Yes. Good. All right, I'm going to try to wrap around him again. Good. <laughs> he wasn't looking. Nope. So because he has a tendency to turn as I wrap around him, anytime I do a 90 degree step and he stays there, good. I'm going to reward him for not turning. Good. Break. Yes. Good boy. Down. Good. 
went behind him and he didn't get up like the first time when I went around him. Break. Good. All right. So my goal this session, I would like for him to start doing the downs without any sort of leash pressure. So let's see. Down. We'll figure it out. No, down. Yes, yes, good job. He figured it out. I did not want to stick my foot out because I know that he's using that as a guide right now. Good boy. And we want him to graduate from needing the foot guidance. So that entire time while he was sitting there and staring at me, I was holding the continuous because he had not completed the command yet. So basically after I held it for a while, I stated no. And during that brief moment, I released the button temporarily. And then I pressed it again while saying down. And then he took some time to figure it out and then he managed to do it. So that was perfect. Break, yes, good boy. Good, right, down. Yes, good boy. Ooh, good thing that didn't tug on you. Great job. Yes, good boy. So the first few times where he manages to get what I'm asking him for, which is the down without any guidance, I am using a lot of enthusiasm for that because I want him to feel that surge of energy like great, happy. I figured it out. Of course, as we continue practicing it though, my energy levels will not remain that high. But in the very beginning, similar to potty training, when they finally do it, and it's something that you've been waiting for them to do, you just really want to give them that boost and confidence too, reward them. I'm gonna practice dropping the leash now because he's been doing a really great job at staying. Go over here. Good boy. Perfect. Very nice. Come out over here, out of the frame. Sammy passing by. Good boy. Let's see if he will release without any leash pressure. Break. Break, Koa, come on, break. All right, he still needs some. Break. Yes. Good boy. Let's throw in a random sit. Sit. Yes. He almost went into the down, I think. Yes. Let's try the going around him. Nope. Good. Nope. Good. So he tried to turn right. You see that? And every time he's doing that, I am turning his body back because I don't want him to get used to like He's following where my hand is because he knows where the treat is coming from, right? So eventually when we do phase out the treats, he's not going to be staring at my hand anymore. Because as he's turning his head, he's um, instinctually turning his body as well. We don't want that. So let me try that again. Break. Good. I'll have him right here instead. I have no space over there. Sit. Yes. No, good. Good. So right now I'm gonna try something where I'm going to wrap around him. And if he does not look at me, I'm not going to feed him a treat because right now the treat is, I feel like distracting him a lot during these commands where it's, He's too overly focused on looking at me. He naturally does that a lot, but when I go down also to feed him the treat from behind, it might cause him to lose his positioning a little bit, so. Good. Let me shorten it so I can adjust him better. Good. Good, much better. Break, yes. Good job. Down. Yes. 
Yes. Perfect. Very good. You saw him trying to figure out, right? The stimulation kept going. He's like, wait a second. Good boy. Very good. Once again, I'm going to drop the leash and step around. Hi, Samuel. Maybe if I get Sammy to run a little bit. Saw that? Good. He stayed there. His tail wagged a little bit, but he chose to stay in the command instead of pursuing Sammy. This is awesome. Good. I don't want him to get up for the tree. You saw that? He got up. He went back into the down. I want him to know that I will bend down and provide it for you. You don't need to get up and break command. Good. I also want him to know when I reach down to pull, the, uh, when I reach down to pick up the leash, that does not necessarily mean it's release time. Break. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Down. Yes. Good boy. And I'm, I'm going to drop it much casually. I feel myself having a lot of trust. Good. In his staying power. I actually feel like aside from him getting up directly while I'm standing there, whether it's to offer him a treat, um, there have been few times where I've put him in the command like this, walked around, and then he just casually decides to get up. That actually has not happened very much. So this is amazing progress. Really, really great progress. I'm super happy with it. Good. And the amazing thing is that he has already been working with distractions. Um, I feel like a cat walking by especially for a dog that normally gets a lot of excitement out of a smaller animal, even though actually Sammy might be the same size as him or bigger. But um, when Sammy is walking by, he doesn't provide that much focus. He doesn't fixate on the cat. He just glances and then he looks away. Of course, if Sammy was closer, it would be more difficult for him to focus. But also that's kind of like an invasion of his space, right? He's trying to focus on the command. If I let the cat approach him and get all up in his face, then it is harder for him to focus, right? And then that's not his fault. That's something that's very important when it comes to training. You want to um, advocate for your dog. So I am asking him to hold this position. Good. He put his head down. I want to reward that actually because that's really, really great behavior for a dog. And this is really good duration. So while we talk, he's going to be holding it. So it's very important to advocate for your dog, right? I am asking him to hold this position, but it's unfair if he gets distracted and gets up, if I'm allowing something to approach him and bother him while he's trying to focus, right? Think about if you're just trying to do work or maybe you're trying to cook and somebody keeps coming up to you and nagging you and nagging you and breaking your focus, right? Invading your personal space. You can't work while somebody is so close and distracting you from your focus. Break. Good boy. Yes, very good. 